Welcome to our lesson about the Dynamic Mirror Tool. We access the Dynamic Mirror via Tools on the main menu strip, scroll down to Sketch Tools, and select the Dynamic Mirror. Alternatively, you can go to Customize. Let's just drag it in and go to the Commands tab. Select the Sketch branch. Here's the Dynamic Mirror Tool. Let's drag it up to the toolbar. And let's click OK. Let's begin with a sketch on the top plane. Right click, insert sketch. First, I'm going to create a construction line at a 45 degree angle. I'll select the rectangle tool, drop my rectangle about here. Let's check for construction and accept. Now activate the center line command and we'll drop our center line from corner to corner. Right click and select to close the tool. Let's control select two sides of the square and add an equal relation. And now I've got my line at 45 degrees. Let's activate the dynamic mirror entities tool. First, SolidWorks asks me to select a line, so I do. Now I'm going to activate the line tool and I'll create a line. A vertical line, click. And a horizontal line, left click. Let's close the profile. And let's click Escape to exit the tool. As you can see, my actions were mirrored real time. Escape to exit the line tool. OK, let's control select these two lines and add a parallel relation. Next, I'll drop a couple circles. I'm going to create a circle with a center at the origin point. Let's see what happens here. SolidWorks warns me, unable to create the symmetric element, since I'm creating geometry on both sides of my symmetry line, obviously. Let's click OK to close this warning window. And right click and select to close the tool. And let me move my geometry a bit here. The reason I've adjusted it a bit is to create a construction line from this point to the midpoint of this line. Select the center line tool, coincident relation at this point, and I'm going to move my mouse to the midpoint of this line. When the glyph appears, I left click to accept the relation and right click and select to close the tool. Now let's control select this point and the circle. Let's add a coincident relation. Let's deactivate the Dynamic Mirror Entities tool. Smart Dimension. We'll start with this circle. Let's make it 45 millimeters. Accept. And this circle. We'll make it 40 millimeters. OK. This segment of the triangle. Let's say 100 millimeters. OK. And let's exit the Smart Dimension tool. Now all my geometry, besides the construction geometry, is fully defined. In the previous tutorial, I didn't dimension the construction geometry, and I still got a fully defined sketch. However, not all construction geometry is created equal. Notice there's a few lines here that are black in color. Let me show you what I mean. These three lines are black in color, but these two lines here are blue. SolidWorks considers them to be underdefined. I can simply drop dimensions, accepting the default values, and now I've got a fully defined sketch. Let's undo that action. What I'm going to do instead is delete those lines. And now we also have a fully defined sketch. Actually, in this type of situation, I can delete these lines as well. Now it looks like my mirror line is floating in space, but in actuality, it's not. Since the rest of my geometry is fully defined, those definitions also define the position of my construction line. This concludes our lesson about the Dynamic Mirror Entities tool.